heard it. Another breaking story tonight. Police investigating a report of a sexual assault inside Whitefish Bay High School. Lacey Crisp live outside the school with more on that. Lacey. A 15-year-old boy has been arrested. Parents want to know exactly what happened and what the district is doing to make sure it doesn't happen again. An alleged sexual assault inside a school. A 16-year-old girl told Whitefish Bay School officials last week a 15-year-old boy forced her to have oral sex with him after school. She told police he grabbed her by the wrist and forced her until she was able to punch him in the stomach and run away. I'm very sorry um, with what I have heard. And um, it, it certainly is not what happens at the school, and I wouldn't want it to happen anywhere. Uh, Whitefish Bay is a wonderful community. According to police reports, the suspect, who has been arrested, denies the assault, saying it was the girl's idea. Police have scoured through video surveillance inside the school. The actual incident was not caught on tape, but according to a police report describing the video, her body language suggests that something has happened and that she may have been crying. According to a police interview, the suspect told police he went through this before. About two months ago, a girl accused him of pulling his pants down in class. He told police the vice principal talked to him, but she wouldn't tell him who accused him. Parents tell me the district could have done a better job telling them what had happened and hope the district makes sure it doesn't happen again. I don't want to second guess the board, but you know, I would have liked to have a little more information. I hope they get to the bottom of it, and I really hope that both of them think long and hard about what happened. Now, the school district would not comment, but the superintendent told me one of the students involved hasn't been back to school since the incident happened. Reporting live in Whitefish Bay, Lacey Crisp, today's TMJ4. All right, thank you, Lacey. Waukesha police still looking for 26-year-old Eddie Calloway.